What a piece of junk. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. It says, The Warden by Cardero. Hmm. Attention, Yelltown. This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptoms. Wow, symptom list is long. Headache, fever, nausea, bleeding. Ew, gross. Bleeding from the nose, ears, mouth, or eyes. Mm-hmm. See the symptoms. Call the RHC emergency hotline on 111111. Well, I feel more relaxed. Yelltown Hotel this way. Ask about their shrimp breakfast. But seriously, do not eat their shrimp breakfast. Attention, Yelltown. This area is experiencing an outbreak. Know the symptom. Wow. Sim Headache, fever, not ew, gross. Bleeding from the nose. See the symptoms. Call the catchy phone number. Harper, I didn't expect... What's the matter? I... I saw an infected woman. What? Are you sure? Yeah, it, it was terrible. She, she had blood coming out of her mouth and nose everywhere. What if I caught Yelltown fever? What if that happens to me? <sighs> Calm down, son. If you're infected, then squalling like a bear won't help. Come here, let me check you for symptoms. Well, it seems you're a very lucky boy, Harper. So I'm... You're fine. You're not showing any of the symptoms. Clean bill of health. Oh, thanks, Professor. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm not sure she had anything to do with it. The infected woman was talking kind of strange. How do you mean? She gave me an envelope for a reporter named Helliwell. I think there's something not right going on here. Harper. I've studied countless outbreaks like this. Sometimes the panic and the fear are more deadly than the disease. Don't get caught up in paranoia. Remember, the only way to beat this thing is to wallop it with some cold, hard science. I called in RHC. They'll be able to help her, right? They'll take her to the RHC emergency treatment camp and put her on life support. Then, if her condition stabilizes, They'll move her to a specialist hospital. So I did the right thing. She was dying. What choice did you have? We need to get out of town. This disease is killing people. Try to stay calm, son. Why don't you come stay with me in Port Nicola for a while? I, I haven't been to Nicola since I dropped out of PNU. Then it's settled. I'll drive you over as soon as I've finished my presentation. Hold up a minute. That's a thought. This... This is excellent news, Harper. What are you talking about? What an opportunity. I'm going to need your help. What are you planning, Professor? A blood sample from that infected woman would be the first step towards a vaccine. I need you to sneak into the treatment camp and get one for me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't you just ask the RHC guys? Bah! <laughs> Rancho want a Rancho brand vaccine. They don't share data with lowly academics. Really? But people are dying. Exactly. With my research, I might be the only one who can crack this thing. Help me, Harper. Help the world. Oh, crap. Are you really serious about this crazy plan? Deadly serious. This is too good an opportunity to let pass. You'll be taking a big risk by stealing a blood sample, but you might also make history. Do me this kindness, and then we'll drive to Port Nicola together. <sighs> and uh, what will you do while I play gopher? Science, my boy. I have to finish tomorrow's presentation and pack up my lab.
What's your plan again? For you to sneak into the RHC treatment camp and borrow a sample of infected blood. <sighs> I'd hoped it'd sound less crazy this time. Why don't you sneak into the RHC camp? They're running high security, an undisclosed location accessible only to RHC staff. Quick reminder, I'm not RHC staff. Ah, I have an old biosuit. Same basic spec as RHC issue. I'd never get into it now, but you'd be a perfect fit. Damn, I knew keeping in amazing shape was a mistake. So where is this biosuit? Ah, yes. Here you go. Ugh, rubber. It's polyester. As you see, with a couple of superficial alterations, it'll be a perfect match for the RHC one. So, I pimp the suit, swipe a blood sample, and then we get out of town? Yes, although the last thing we want to do is involve a pimp. What's the deal with this rubber suit again? It should be a trifle to make it look the same as the RHC ones, and it's not made of rubber. I saw your car in Jake's shop. It looks like a total wreck. No, no, no. Jake's just fixing the brake light. He said he'd drop around today. I think he lied to you, Professor. Looks like Jake left town, and I think he maybe cannibalized your jalopy for spare parts. Damnation! We'll need that car to get to the treatment camp. And Port Nicola. Your ride is garbage. What now? I hate to ask, Harper. Do you think you could take a look at her? You see, I have to... Keep doing science. I get it. Give me the keys. Thank you. We need that car working. Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. Well, guess I'm going to go do the stupidest thing in my life. Excellent. Good luck. RHC outfits do look a lot like the professor's old bio suit, except they have a big red stripe across, and the RHC insignia on the chest. Hmm. The RH except they have a big and the RHC ins There's no Huh, that could work. Super stickum glue. Huh, the nozzle is jammed. Well, the nozzle's blocked with dried glue. As usual. It's locked, but she isn't looking good. Professor McBride's car. She's seen better days. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, holy moly. The engine's been stripped. I think the engine needs some more coolant. It looks like the fan belt is missing. At least the oil level is fine. Arts. The radiator hose has a huge leak. Oh, there are two spark plugs missing. This car is in ridiculous condition. That's the radiator. Looks like a copper brass alloy. Dang, the car battery is missing. Let's shorten this a little. I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. At least the oil level is fine. At least the oil level is fine. 
I wouldn't know how to use the hose here. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hopper. How you doing? How's the junkyard business? Ah, oh, things have changed since you used to work for me, Hop. Yes, sir. Things have changed. Leroy, you're currently watching a football game instead of working. Things haven't changed that much. <laughs> you mind if I borrow some bits of junk from the yard? Working on a new project, huh? Sure, take what you need. But please leave all the car parts. I'm turning a good profit on them right now. Um... Actually, I'm trying to fix this broken down car. Could I please take some spare car parts from the junkyard? Papa, you know I'm always ready to help a buddy. You done me more good turns than I can count. Oh, thanks, Leroy. But car parts fetch a good price. I might need just one more good turn. Sure. What do you want? Could you get me a drink? I'm dying of thirst here. The hotel bar won't serve me after I, you know, with the thing. Yeah, I remember. I don't. I blacked out after the fondue fountain. Come on, buddy. Just bring me a drink and you can have whatever car parts you need. Okay, okay. It's a deal. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop. Here's your drink, Leroy. Ooh, thanks, Hop. You come talk to me about those car parts anytime. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. I need some coolant. Yeah, Jake had some bottles of coolant in his garage. I picked them up when he left. Better than let the teens try to drink them or smoke them, am I right? Very thoughtful. Ain't I a saint? So, can you give me a bottle of coolant? Which kind you need? Um, are there different kinds? Sure, take a look. Wow, what's the difference? Use the wrong one and your radiator's kaput. That's the difference. You really don't want to put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator, no sir. Right. I need a bottle of G18. You sure about that now? I know what I'm doing. All right then, here you go. Thanks. Could you pass me a bottle of coolant? Sure, which one? What was the difference between them again? You gotta choose the right one for your radiator, that's all. Like I said, never put organic coolant into a copper brass radiator. Never mind, I need a minute to think. About those car parts. Yep. Do you have a fan belt? Nah, no resale value. Oh, damn it, I need one. You could always try jewelry rigging it with something elastic. What about a car battery? Yeah, I was using one to jumpstart a tractor early in the week. Seemed to have plenty of juice in it. Do you have any spark plugs? Nah, unless there might be some in the old car engine hanging on the crane. Great. Can I have them? Sure, if you can get it down yourself. I'm watching the game. Sure thing. Do you have a radiator hose? I do. I tried to use it to connect a gas cylinder to my stove, but it wasn't the right size for the nozzle. Thought I'd better give up before I blew the caravan to kingdom come. About that radiator hose? Sure, take it. It's probably still with the gas cylinder. Let's talk about something else. Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Let's see here. Couple rusty hubcaps and an old hairdryer. Nah. There's an old car engine hanging from the crane. Leroy thinks there might still be spark plugs in it. 
Let's have a look here. Ah, there it is. I found the battery. Neat! Wonder what's in this pile. Nah, nothing but a chewed up grocery cart. I always keep a keen eye on the scrap electronics. I found some sweet radio stuff in there in the past. Leroy doesn't usually mind me being a magpie for electronics, as long as it's going to a good home. Hard to believe I once picked up a working 76 Kojak transceiver from here. Okay, gas cylinders, gas cylinders. Ha, this looks like a radiator hose. Won't be long until the crane becomes part of the junk pile itself, the circle of life. I used to operate the crane for Leroy sometimes, but I always preferred getting hands-on. It's stuck. Hey, Leroy. Hey, Hop. About those car parts. Yep. The lever controlling the crane seems to be stuck. Yeah, the old girl might need some greasing, if you know what I mean. I do. At least I hope I do. Let's talk about something else. I received a very strange radio message. There are places and dates. Something about Yelltown tonight. What are you telling me here, Hop? I don't know. Maybe something bad is going to happen here tonight. You're talking a little paranoid there, buddy. Why not take a break and watch the game with me? Some other time, maybe. Just take care of yourself tonight, okay? Talk to you later. Bye, Hop! Oh my Jesus, a pain atomizer. Oh man, these things are so cool. I always wanted one of these for my model planes, but Calvin said they made too much mess. I wonder if this baby still works. Leroy's trailer. He lives here all year round. You know... Hey, hello all. Hey, Harper. See ya. See you later, Harper. Hmm. The atomizer nozzle is blocked with dried paint. This should do the trick. Super stickum glue. Huh. The nozzle is jammed. I don't see a way to use the atomizer here.
I don't think I should paint that. Okay. Well, that nozzle's blocked as usual. I don't see a way to use the... I don't see a way to use the atomizer here. Super stick'em glue. Huh, the nozzle is jammed. I don't feel like cleaning that. I can use this hose to siphon off a little oil. Okay, so I just have to suck in a little and then... <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it worked. Blech. Okay, Mrs. Denman's underwear is worth more than she knows. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the right coolant. I can't move it. That should do the trick. Whew. Hey, there are some spark plugs in that engine. Rest in pieces, old car. I fixed the car. McBride will be like, Oh, Harper, you're, you're, you're so good at fixing cars. And I'll say, Ah, don't mention it. The insignia looks just like the ones on the RHC outfits. But how do I attach it to the professor's bio suit? That won't help him block the nozzle. I don't think that's the right tool for this situation. The multi-tool could come in handy here, but this is dead. I'll cut the tip of the nozzle to free the glue. Done. Okay... Ugh, sticky. Yes, 
This will work. Okay. Maybe I can add that red stripe with the paint atomizer. Hey, that worked pretty well. I'm a true artist. Looks like I have a pretty convincing RHC outfit on my hands. Hey, Professor. Hello, Harper. Uh, I think the suit is ready. Wonderful, Harper. Well done. And I got your car working, too. Excellent. Then we're all set. Except, in spite of my best efforts, I haven't been able to locate the RHC treatment camp. Ha! You're in luck, Professor. I think I just met someone who knows where the camp is. Marvelous! Wait here. I'll go talk to her. So, where is the RHC treatment camp? I'll tell you what, Harper. I'm going to show you where the camp is. Great! But I'm coming with you. What? Why? You're planning to sneak inside the camp, right? Absolutely not. Okay. Well, if you were planning to sneak inside, I could use some undercover pictures for my story. Great idea. That ought to make things easier for the cops when they arrest me. Hey, if you don't want to know where it is. <sighs> okay, have it your way. But no pictures of me. Happy to oblige. When do we leave? No time like the present. Let's go. Oh, I hate this suit. I'd say that suit is the least of your worries. A radio message. My goodness. What do you think it means, Professor? I think it means we ought to work fast. Take this syringe and draw the blood sample just like I showed you. I remember, Professor. It's just like when I had to give my mom her shots. Except backwards. Uh, yes. Are we really going ahead with this? Stop worrying, Harper. You did a good job. Your disguise is very convincing. This is our best shot at getting a blood sample from that unfortunate woman. Just act like you know what you're doing. Get in, get out. Professor McBride, do you think Patty... Could she still be alive in there? Well... Let's find out. <laughs> 